Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at Magic School AI. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. All right, so let's start by taking a look at Magic School AI. So Magic School AI is a collection of over 50 AI-powered tools to help educators create content. Uh, they've got tools in all kinds of categories from planning to content, questions, student support, communications, and on and on down the line. Uh, basically, what these are, are like uh, pre-made prompts. So it's like you could, yeah, you could go to ChatGPT or Bard or, you know, uh, um, or Microsoft's Copilot or any of the other AI tools out there. And, and yes, you could go and you could type in these prompts yourself to say, hey, I want to have a lesson plan generated on such and such a topic. But sometimes it can be a little intimidating to go to ChatGPT and just see a blinking cursor there and you're like, I'm not sure what to type in. So basically what these, what they've done here at Magic School AI is they've created really, really nice prompts where you're going to go in and give a little bit of information. Like you'll put in the subject area or the grade level or the topic, and then it's going to be the, uh, the, the, uh, middle person between you and chat GPT. It's going to take your request and it's going to take their expertly crafted prompts, going to go over to chat GPT, submit that, and then bring the content back to you. Um, so on one hand, yeah, sure. You could go to chat GPT and do all this stuff directly, but I do like tools like magic school because it does help for uh, folks who maybe feel a little intimidated by uh, using a tool like ChatGPT, but also just to broaden our understanding of, wow, I never thought about doing that. Like, oh, I didn't know I could have the AI do X, Y, Z. And so if nothing else, even if it's just using this as an entry point to get more comfortable with AI, and then who knows, maybe you do pop over to ChatGPT and just do it from that for, uh, on your own after that. Or maybe you're like, you know, this is just really convenient. I, I really prefer just being able to do this right here at, at Magic School. So let's go ahead and pop on over to the website and just take a quick look at it. So the website is magicschool.ai. Um, and I'll go ahead and log on into this. Um, just sign in with my Google account. There we go. And once you get into Magic School, you'll see the large collection of all of the tools they have created, which again, basically are um, pre uh, created prompts uh, that we can be using here. Uh, I said there's about 50. It's growing all the time. There may be more by the time you get to it, but the last time I checked, there was a little over 50 of these already created. Now, like I said, you can just scroll through all of them. You can favorite the ones you like the best, or you can use the tabs at the top to say, let's look at the planning prompts where you'll see things like a unit plan generator or a lesson plan generator or exemplars and non-exemplars, a 5e model lesson plan generator and on and on. Under the content section, we'll see math story problems, a text leveler, a rubric generator, uh, an informational text generator, a YouTube video summarizer, and so on. Under questions, we'll see multiple choice assessment generators. We'll see a math spiral review generator. We'll see an SAT reading questions uh, generator. Under intellectual prep, we've got um, multiple explanations for complex concepts. We've got clear directions, we've got scaffolding, we've got a sentence starter generator, and on and on. Under student support, we're seeing things like the text leveler tool, the accommodation suggestion generator, we've got a BIP suggestion generator, um, uh, on and on down the line. So many great uh, resources there. Under communication, we've got, we've got a report card uh, comment generator, uh, we've got an email family tool, we've got a text proofreader tool, a thank you note generator. And then under community tools, there's lots of fun things here, such as a teacher joke generator, and even a song generator, a uh, quote of the day generator, and on and on down the line. So lots of great tools. To use any one of these, I'll just, let me just grab one of mine that I had, had starred, maybe the DOK questions generator as an example. So basically you just click on that, and it's gonna ask you again to fill in your information. Now, typically that's going to involve 
involve like a grade level and that's going to involve a topic, a standard, an objective. There, there could be other things depending upon the tool, but you're going to fill in as much information as you can. And if you're not sure, you can always click on the see an exemplar button. I'll do that as an example here. And that will show you what it would look like for this tool to run. So if you're not totally sure how the tool works, just click on the exemplar button and it will fill in, for example, this case, seventh grade and the process of mitosis was the topic. And over here on the side, this was a DOK uh, question generator. You see it has created questions for DOK level one, two, three, and four. And so now we've got these questions that we could pull from. And now, of course, you can do that very easily. There's a copy button over here. Just click on the copy button. That'll copy the information, which you can now paste into a document or whatever you want and do with however you would like to. So that is Magic School AI. Uh, they seem to be adding new resources all the time to this. At the moment, it is free. They have indicated on their blog that they are going to be offering a paid option. So there will be a paid subscription plan, but they say there will always be a free version. Not sure exactly what will be the, the differences yet on that. They're estimating the premium paid version will probably be around $10 a month for that. So keep an eye out on that. Uh, but for now, uh, all of the tools are available and hopefully going forward, the free version will continue to be a nice robust option for us there. All right, good stuff. That's Magic School AI. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA-connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.